Like my gram said uh, a long time ago, these are not, this is not the time for global warming. This is global warnings. We are in the warning stages of change. Said we all need clean water that can never be shut off. It's free and for all, no riots, no cops. The source of our life and protected as such. That's why my watershed come first. Please rise up. It's time for us to give back to the water. You know, water has been our source of life. It's what we have structured our towns and our villages and our cities around. It's what provides for our economic development. It is everything. We come from water. We're made from water. Uh, we have an obligation uh, to stay connected. We all need clean water. All need clean water. If we don't sing to the water, if we don't take care of the water in the right way, then we get stripped of that um, privilege, of that gift. And then bad things happen. Be shut off, there's free and for all. This is about water privatization. By 2025, Food and Water Watch says that two thirds of humans will be without potable water and water for hygiene. That is not acceptable. We filed our lawsuit with the, with the county and with, with Crystal Geyser. Crystal Geyser announced that it quote unquote became aware of the need for an EIR. This is after two years or over two years of us trying to get an EIR and them saying, oh, they don't need one. They're trying to say that it would be the Air Pollution Quality Board that would be the lead agency. Well, that doesn't seem to be right because they don't have the authority to mandate all the different requirements that would come from a real mitigation agreement. You know, when we allow water bottling companies to come in, bottle up the water, and ship it around the world while we're in drought, why would we do that? It doesn't make sense. So this is why we're here to work with people in solidarity. We're launching the Pacific Northwest Alliance to work with people from all over California, all over Oregon, all the way up to uh, Washington, and work as a block to stop these plants from going into construction, because it's the only way we'll stop them. I'm hoping more people will, will show up and stand up and speak up for these things that um, is going to affect all of us, the entire state. That if we don't need any more water. Water, water is a right. It's not a, a commodity to be bought and sold. Water is sacred. Water is sacred. Water is life. Water is sacred. Water is life. Water is sacred. Water is sacred. Water is sacred. On this day, with this request that the sacred waters be protected and that they take um, the right moves here, do the right thing for the people, for Mother Earth, for the water itself. So we say, Beri Yalamina, you know, that uh, you hear us, you understand us, because we're not going away. We have not gone away for all of these years and we're not going to go away now. We're trying to get a message through whatever way that we can. And so far we have not been heard. And so if we can get uh, the people of Japan, you know, just as sharp as the, as the taiko drum sounded today, to hear us, when you listen to your drums, that's what this is, this is a clapper stick. And when we send out that vibration to the mountain, we're asking them to take pity on us and to help us out. And for the, so that we could learn how to do the good things and carry out the good things in life and not think of just profits or not think of changing the whole systems that Creator put here and He put it here in such a perfect place and in a perfect way and in such balance that there is nothing that can be done by man to make things better. Baby Alamina! Baby Alamina! Baby Alamina! Baby Alamina! Baby Alamina! Water is here to help us. We're not here to take that water and uh, 
say it's ours, it's ours alone. The water belongs to the salmon, it belongs to the trout, it belongs to the birds, it belongs to the all living things. Thank you, sacred world.